So, this is San Juan Batista, a little town, quite old. And why am I here? Well, the history of California is connected with Catholic, Spanish Catholic missions. Spanish built over 20 of them, I believe 21, and this is one of them. So let's take a walk and have a look what we can see here. And I believe this is the mission behind the wall. So we will see. I've never been here, so I don't really know. But I see a cross on top of the building behind there, and I believe this is the mission. And here it is, Old Mission San Juan Batista, established June 24, 1797. No dogs allowed. Old bell. Yeah, it does look ancient. Plaza Hotel, Plaza Stables, Plaza Hall, now as then this is in the middle of agricultural area and all the people that I've walked by so far speak Spanish. Mission San Juan Batista, founded June 24, 1797 by Father Lasuen. 15th of the 21 missions, largest and only church with three aisles. This mission has never been abandoned and it is now the parish church of San Juan Batista. Mm -hmm. It does look like something from the Western movies. schedule masses will be held indoors in the mission church today is today is Saturday so at 5 p.m. in English in the church and 7 p.m. Spanish in the church Quite a few people are on the premises. Mission Cemetery, buried in this sacred ground in unmarked graves are about 4,300 Mission Indians, Spanish and pioneer settlers. Yeah, um, this is kind of a dark part of American history. and specifically dark part of the history of Spanish rule of California because they used Indians basically as slaves to work for them 
to build the missions to work the fields and so on so this is a place where great injustice was done to to Indian people, Indian tribes who lived here. Original route El Camino Real. Wow, so this is El Camino Real, the original. This was the road that traversed California from south to north. And I do know better parts of it up north from here in Santa Clara County and beyond. The above marker shows the direction of the road that connected, connected the 21 missions. Expeditions left here to go north to Mission Santa Clara or go south to the headquarters at Mission San Carlos Borromeo de Carmelo. So this is the Carmel mission. This road was used from 1797 to about 1850. And who is this statue of Luke? Luke who? The saint? Oh, could be Mark. And people put money here. Okay, and what is this? Keep out. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. People walking around, taking pictures, taking pictures of themselves. Here and there. Notice, do not enter. Temporarily closed. Vicky's cottage, close to the public. Okay, Vicky doesn't want us there. Or the Department of Health. San Juan Batista State Historic Park. Well, it certainly does look like from the old times, I can say that, the buildings I mean. Plaza Hotel and since we cannot go inside the mission let's check the downtown Castro Breen Adobe home and office of Jose A. Castro 1838-1849 and Patrick and Margaret Breen family estate 1849-1933 so it was in the family for quite some time uh, can we get closer I'm not sure like closed 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 so let's continue downtown wow san juan jail built 1870 i guess they didn't have so many criminals around 
the gel is pretty small and I'm guessing this is the main drag the third street nowadays uh, the town has about 2,000 inhabitants but since we are in the middle of agriculture area probably a lot of people come here shopping and to the church not necessarily here because what I see is kind of tourist shops but I think probably they are coming to town to buy things and this is Tukoleta Hall, two-story adobe building built in 1800, so 220 years old. Peruvian store, wow, quite a long way from Peru and I see a llama here. Hello, Lama. And here is another church, a little competition to, to the mission church. What do they say here? Glad Tidings Church, Sunday school, something a.m., morning worship, 10.30 a.m., welcome. Okay. As I was saying earlier, the Spanish missionaries did a great injustice to indigenous people living here. They enslaved them and basically used them, used them, and a lot of them died because of the various diseases that Europeans, Spanish, brought in and the Indians actually were absolutely not immune to them. So that was really, really bad. And I recall one of the major missionaries and kind of architects or, or major figures behind building those missions was Father Junipero Serra and some years ago the Pope, if I remember correctly it was John Paul II made him a saint and it was quite controversial here, well not in Catholic circles but between people who know something about the history. It was quite controversial because he made a saint out of a person who caused death of thousands, tens of thousands of people just to kind of increase the power and riches of Spanish Catholic Church. So yeah, sad. Okay, and this kind of Victorian style building is what? I have to cross again and we will see. What does it say? Texas Lodge number 46, free and accepted Masons, State of California, chartered May 6, 1854. Okay, so the Masons. And this is a way back to the mission. 
exit only. Okay, exit only, so let's go in. The worst that can happen is that someone will kick me out. Looks like a mission building. They have office, maybe it will tell us old mission teaching center dedicated to Father George McMenamin, pastor 62 to 1969. The parish office is closed due to COVID until the county restrictions are lifted. Oh, seminarians. Okay, so it looks like they train priests here. Who knows? Office of Faith Formation. Here is an expression I've never heard. Franciscan Sisters of the Atonement Residence. Okay, so it looks like uh, nuns live here. And that makes sense. Nuns here and the future priests or priests to be over there, close to each other. And this looks like a cork tree, cork oak. And yeah, it is. So I guess when the missionaries made wine, they used the cork bark to seal the bottles. That makes sense. So this is it for today, the end of the visit to old Spanish city, San Juan Batista and its famous mission. So I hope you liked what you saw and if you did, please give it a thumb up and sign up and See you next time. Happy New Year and take care.